nice to see you again. God bless you real, real good. I welcome you. And I said, be blessed as you hear the word, the word of God, the word that I want to give to you now. Okay, I want to talk about the pattern of preaching that's going on this time around. When the whole world is full of wickedness, full of evil, the same way we are seeing it today, when the whole world was smitten and, and swimming in wickedness and evil, there is one message that God preached to the world then. There's one message God preached to the whole world. God did not preach fear to the world. God preached one message, message of law. God preach law to the whole world. God, but you no know, John three sixteen said, "For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whoever believes in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life." When the people is when the whole world is expecting, if God is God, let Him prove Himself. They are expecting God to come down with machine gun, to come down with a, a, a highest a, a, a bomb, to bomb the whole world, to end the whole world. Instead, God came with a message of love. But what we are seeing today is a message of fear. Message of fear. They use fear to soak you. Message of fear is from the devil. Fear is from the devil. Before devil can get you, the thing that the devil will try to inject inside of you is fear. What the preachers these days are preaching is fear. They don't preach the love of God. The power in the love of God is stronger than death. It's stronger than any sin. It's strong. It's able to save a dying soul. It's able to heal a sick soul. It's able to deliver the, 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 the one chained down by the devil. The power, the love is stronger than death. I don't know, I don't know the reason preachers these days are preaching fear of hell, fear of if you don't pay tight, you will die, you will be caused. I don't know why the messages of fear is being preached nowadays everywhere, in the churches, everywhere, messages of fear. That's why people are tired, tired of what is called church or Christianity these days. We don't hear the message of love anymore. There's a message of love you will preach in your meeting. Even a person will burst into cry, begin to cry. Even a ritualistic man that hear you will say, let me give my life to this love. Even somebody who did not believe, we believe, we believe, say, let me try this. Let me give my life to this. Even somebody who is who is a, 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 a killer can say, no, I have to stop. The power of God's law, the message of love is stronger than hell. It's stronger than the message of hell, hell, hell. We are preaching everywhere. It is simply sending fear into the people, not, not power. The power of, of God, the power of God is love. The power of God is love. If we preach the message of love to the whole world, the whole world will respond that this message of fear, of fear, fear is from the devil. It's from the devil. The, the power that can get a sinner on his knee is when you preach the love of God. The, the, the true love of God, the unfeeling love of God, the undiluted love of God, the love that wake and bring his son back to life. When you preach this message of love, everything will respond in unison. We have preached a love of message of fear from the pit of hell. People are tired. People are tired, for God has not given us the spirit of fear. But, you know, for God, I go to the spirit of fear, but of power and of law and of sound mind. For God has not given us the spirit of fear. Where is all these fear messages coming from? 
soaking people with fear instead of telling them how much God loves them, how much God loved them, how much God loved them, even in the midst of, 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 of mess, in the, in the midst of their smelling life, God still loved them. God loved the whole world, even at, as the whole world is smelling. The heart of God is that the whole world will denounce evil and wickedness and turn to him. This is the heart of God. But we keep on spreading the message of fear. Die. Your father is the one doing you. Your mother is the one doing you. And your, your uncle is the one doing you. Putting fear, fear, fear in the life of people. When you soak people with the love of God, their heart, their heart, their, their mind will be sound. And when somebody has a sound mind, there is nothing, no evil. There's no evil that can get that person. You are unstoppable when your engine is sound and healthy. You need to hear the message that will inject boldness, power, soundness inside of you than sitting down with a fair, soaking preachers, hearing rubbish from their mouth. How can you grow stronger than fear? Because the devil can get you on to inject fear. And once he injects fear, then he can get you down. That is why they are soaking you every day with fear. So that you don't grow strong in inside and break loose. Enough of all this message of fear, message of hell, message of uh, if you don't, uh, don't, don't do this, uh, is your father doing you, your mother doing you. Oh, in the night, uh, they are coming, oh, do this, so oh. if they want to come, call my name oh, for me to pray for you. Instead of you to inject the power in the love of God for them to be sound, and when they are sound, they are healthy in the inside, no devil will come near them. Bible said that. A sinner is running. A sinner is someone living in fear when nobody is pursuing him. But a righteous man, the one that know God and have that have, and, and that have received, the one that have received the love of God in his heart. But a righteous man is as a bold as a lion. There is no fear in the calendar of a lion. We need to grow people. We need to grow the lion in the life of Christians. Not putting the fear, the fear that makes them to be fear paupers, that makes them to fear any little ordinary cockroach. The Christians are afraid of cockroach. They are afraid of any little thing that, 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 that pass across them. They are afraid. Because of the message of fear. Fear. Jesus is a lion. The lion of the tribe of Judah. There is no fear in Jesus. Even when he, 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 he entered into hell, uh, into grave to meet the devil, he is bold enough to defeat the devil and to come up as a lion he is. People are, people are running for deliverance every day, running for one person to another because they will soak you with fear. Go to somebody that will inject boldness, that will inject the love of God. For love is stronger than death. There is no fear in love. There is no fear in Jesus. There is no fear in love. Your pastors they are using this fear to deny you your authority, to deny you your boldness, to deny your inheritance, to deny your joy, to deny your sleep. It's high time you break loose from all these people soaking you with fear and say no to this fear and look for somebody that will inject boldness inside of you. You need it. You need it. You need such a man. You need to be with such a people. You need to be, you need to be with such a, such, a, such, a, such a man that will tell you that it is possible. With God, things are possible. That there's no demon that can stop you from being the man or the woman God said that you are. 
enough of all these messages. Let's preach. Let's preach to the dying world. Let's preach the love of God to the dying world and, 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 and cause them to receive the seven power of Jesus. Not preaching the fear from the devil, from the pit of hell. We are all of you get your power because you cannot inject what you don't have. All right, I just pray just from this moment, any pastor that is soaking with fear, run away from him. The Spirit of God is not a spirit of fear. It's a spirit of boldness. And the love is stronger than any devil or demon. When you have the love of God inside of you, you'll be thinking about soundness, you'll be thinking about power, you'll be thinking about boldness. God bless you. God bless you as you hear this Try to grow your engine. Let stop hearing the things that will be weighing you down, that will be causing you, not knocking your engine down, that will be causing you pains in the inside, that will be making you not to be strong in the inside. You need somebody that will always tell you how much God loves you, how beautiful you are, how powerful you are, how strong you are, how glorious you are, not somebody that keeps on intimidating you, soaking you, trying to deny you self-confidence in you. This is what the Westerners are doing. They inject from childhood. They inject that boldness in the life of their children. They grow up waxing strong. Why Africans are busy soaking their own children with fear? That must 